So things here at the workshop have kind of been grinding to a halt, but something that's exciting is that I have hired a new team member. So I work in a really small team, mostly consisting of plastic creatures, but also some actual real humans. And I don't wanna throw shade at anyone. Like my team is absolutely amazing. But one of the things I really felt has been lacking is that none of them ever poop on the floor or even pee on the floor. Also, I tried to rub a contractor's belly once and that did not go well. So I realized that it's time for me to hire a workshop dog. Yeah, all of this is just to tell you that I got a dog. A real life, non-robotic dog. This video is sponsored by Simply Safe. Hi! <laughs> so this is Scraps. She is a menace, but she's marvelous. Ow! And she's also teething and wants to chew on absolutely everything, but her favorite is human flesh. And unfortunately, she also likes eating poop. Yeah, you're not really a true dog owner until you've pulled shit out of your dog's mouth with your bare hands. It's a very special bond we share. So I got her from a shelter and all I really know is that she's 100% purebred workshop mutt. I think she's like a West Highland Terrier mix of some sort. And as you can probably tell, she's lost a leg and I don't really know what happened to her. She was surrendered to the shelter with a really severe fracture and they decided to amputate it, but she's doing really well. And dogs can have really amazing lives on three legs. There's really nothing that she shouldn't be able to do other than like scratch her right ear. So I just have to do that for her. I used to tell people that I'm vegetarian because I hate animals so much I don't even want to eat them, but that was a joke. I love animals. And I love dogs in particular. I've had dogs almost my entire life. I love training dogs. I've taken so many dog training classes. I will like zone out reading random Wikipedia pages on different breeds and their health problems, and I give people so much unsolicited dog advice. Yeah, I'm a total dog explainer. But there's just been so much stuff going on these last couple of years and I didn't feel confident that I could provide a really good home for an animal. But one of the benefits of being a budding has-been is that I feel like my life has finally become predictable enough where I could actually take care of an animal. All I want is just to frolic around in overalls, building things and refusing to download TikTok. So what are your qualifications as a workshop dog? How do you feel about the name Scraps? What if I make it Commander Scraps? Are you okay with loud noises? So when can you start working? As much as Scraps is amazing about barking at absolutely everything, I would prefer to have a security system that doesn't sleep for 18 hours a day. So this video is sponsored by Simply Safe. They let you pick and choose the pieces you want to create a system that works for your space. And they send everything directly to you so you don't have to wait for like a four hour window for somebody to come and install it. I installed it at my house took me about an hour. And if you do have any problems, you can always call the Simply Safe Care team. They have sensors for every window and room and door, and they will be professionally monitored 24 seven. And a good thing is that they can tell the difference between intruders and pets. So Scraps is off the hook. A side note is that I've installed a camera in her crate because I've started training her to be alone. It's really great to be able to check in and make sure she's all right. I mean, we're currently at like 20 seconds, but it's mostly me needing to get used to her being alone. <laughs> but I'm doing great. What are you doing? Do you want to tell me what's up? This is your frustrated bark. I don't know what's, there's nothing in here. Oh, there is something in there. There was another bone. Oh, wow. You smart little doggo. Check out Simply Safe by going to simplysafe.com forward slash Simone. Thank you, Simply Safe. Just before we move on, I didn't realize it when I was filming this, but I was having issues with my microphone. And uh, guess who fixed it? I installed it in my house. It took me about an hour. And if you have any problems, you can always call the Simply Safe Care team. Ow, that's my microphone. No, don't. Don't chew on the microphone.
Maybe she's not a workshop dog. Maybe I should hire her as an audio engineer. I've outsourced myself to a branch. This is day three of doing heel, and she's already so good that I have to like try to trick her to get out of it. Yes. Yes. Also, in making this video, I have come to realize that my dog voice is absolutely awful. Oh, yeah. Girl. I have gotten so used to my voice and like every unflattering angle of my face, but hearing the way I talk to dogs, it was more truth than I was ready for. But at least you like it. Don't run away from my comforting voice. Why would you run away from this voice? I don't know. Initially, I wanted a larger dog. I really like bigger dogs and I fostered a boxer mix for a little bit, but I've had to realize that I can provide a much better life for a smaller one because they're just so much easier to bring along. Maybe not to space, but we have been practicing riding in a backpack. Yeah, you wanna ride in your backpack? Yes, good girl. Good job. Do you wanna come out? Yeah, good girl. No, wait, we're gonna put on your harness. <laughs> Do you wanna come out? Here, you wanna come out? Let's put on your harness. Oh my god, you were so fucking cute. What's she doing? If you've ever raised a puppy, you know it's so much work. It's definitely been a roller coaster, but honestly, it's the best use of quarantine I could ever think of. Except for the part where I'm becoming like a caricature of a dog owner and sending all my friends so many photos of her. I've started doing the like, to stop receiving scraps announcements, please reply stop. Am I selling t-shirts with her face on it though? No, not yet. Why do you ask? Would you, would you want one? But I will confess that I started an Instagram account for her. I just hope when you grow up that you won't be upset about the photos I posted of you as a puppy. <laughs> so yeah, Simone and Commander Straps, at your service. I promoted her to Commander because I was worried that Scraps wasn't dignified enough. And also because she totally runs my life right now. I think she needs to pee. We've been practicing peeing outside. And by we, I mean, just her, except for occasionally at that like 3 a.m. P where I also really need to go. And I just, I, I have an enclosed garden. I don't, I hope my neighbors aren't watching this. Okay, bye.